Hello and welcome again to W3DE. In this video, we will make a do it yourself 3D printed watch using Miyota 2415 movement. So, the body or the casing of the watch is 3D printed, but of course, the strap, movement, crown, and so on is still using finished parts. Let's start with the design. This is a three piece design. First is the front part, and then uh, this is the place to put the spring bar. I'm using a 24 millimeter spring bar, and then there are also four holes to put screw M2 screws, and then this one is the back plate. For the back plate, uh, it's uh, simple just like that and then uh, for the mounting this one will be placed inside the back plate and the front part to hold the movement okay simple right and this is the printing process I'm printing for the front and back plate using black PLA and then for the uh, inner holder I'm using a red PLA and then this is the preparation process so I'm using metal brush and then paper, knives, and so on to make sure that the parts will fit together. Next process is painting with primer, maybe two or three layers, depend on the print condition, and then continue with brushing and also sandpaper to make sure that the surface is smooth enough for the next painting step. Next one is painting with the color paint, but for the part I print in red color, I'm not using any primer, just straight to painting. And this is the last step of painting, I'm using a made uh, coating. So this is the assembling process. Okay, this is me setting up the uh, date and also the dial to make sure that it's changing the date correlate with the changing of the 12 or 00 am sorry I don't have the proper tools to uh, assemble this thing but I'm just using anything available at the workshop Okay, almost finish. Yes, and then the last part is the straps. I'm using a pair of silicon rubber straps, 24 millimeters 
lug size Okay, done Let's try it out So the result is of course you cannot expect much I'm using an FDM printer So there are some layer lines and so on but anyway, maybe in the future I'll try again using a resin printer. Hopefully the result is a lot better. It's been a fun project. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next video. Goodbye.